uh, 10 games in 18 days. Uh, started last night, so to me, it's gonna it's gonna be managing not only our game days but our our non-game days. And and what do we need to get out of the day? Is it is it you know we talked about this last year, trying to juggle what's best for the team and and is is it uh, rest recovery, so we have energy tomorrow, or do we need to go out on the ice and practice something, get something out of it? So. You know, the decision coming out of last night's game, I thought we played a pretty solid game, was was pretty easy as far as just managing it. And, and certain players need to go out and skate, but other players just need to you know, manage themselves so we have some energy for tomorrow, and not only tomorrow, but the next eight, eight nine games coming up. Do you find it easier to manage when the team's having success? I mean, is the player mindset a little bit different when it comes to that because the vibes are all positive right now? It's easier to manage, and the reason why it's easier to manage is usually if you're losing as a coach, you, you want to repair parts of your game that, that need repairing, and a lot of times you have to go out on the ice to do that and practice it, give them the reps and get them to understand what we're trying to do or what we're trying to accomplish as, as coaches. Um, you know, when you're winning, obviously there's a, there's a better vibe, and when you've you know, won a number of games in a row, uh, there's a confidence, but you're, the reason why you've won a number of games in a row is you've done the right things out on the ice. So, and and some of it too is just a reward for the players, knowing that you know you go out and work hard, do the right things, and you know the next day might be a little bit easier. Your team has been playing extremely hard during the streak that you're on right now, and, and you've also benefited a little bit from the schedule and the fact that you got Washington third game in four days, you got LA fourth game in six days. Philly was supposed to play yesterday, that got pushed back to today. Now they have to play it back to back. Uh, those are great situations, but there's still ones that your team has to go out and take advantage of. You have to go out and take advantage of them, and we've all been in that boat, and we're we're going to find ourselves in that. You know, maybe not next month in February, but in March, I know we have some some back to backs where we're away and we got to travel back, and there's teams are going to be sitting here waiting for us. So every team goes through it. But you are right; when you do get a team in that position, you gotta you gotta take advantage of it. And I thought we did that last night. Um, you know, a lot of times in this league, because of the parity, and I said this last night. You know, it's when you catch a team or when you can catch a team. And we caught LA at a good time, an advantageous time for us. Uh, last night, just at the end of a road trip and playing a lot of games. Philadelphia is going to hopefully be in that same boat tomorrow where maybe they come in and they're a little fatigued having played the night before and traveled in. But we got to take advantage of it. And you got to use those opportunities to, to help yourself. You never bank on getting help like that from Mother Nature, though, do you? <laughs> no, no. But again, it does happen. And, and, you know, Carolina, unfortunately for them, it's happened to them twice now. So they still have to make up another game uh, against Buffalo. And again, when you're, you take a look at the schedule, what's coming up for us, and I'm pretty sure most teams have the same uh, March that we do, March and April, where you're going to be playing lots of games. You've got to squeeze in another game um, on the road. It makes it that much harder. Four straight at home, I know it's not, kind of pales to seven overall, but are you, uh, are you getting a sense that this building's starting to feel like it did a little bit last spring? Well, you know, the one game, it's hard to say based off of last spring. I remember the last game because the previous six we were on the road, and that was really when all the buzz and all the excitement. It's, our building was still good, but it was nothing like that last game. Uh, I think it's starting to build. You know, the, the, you know, the talk, you know, I'm getting more requests to do. To me, that's, that's the easiest sign is when I have to do more phone interviews. Uh, for radio stations, that's that's telling you that things are going good, and there's a, there's a starting to get a buzz. Uh, but again, we can't get comfortable with it. We can't get satisfied with it that that we've arrived because we haven't arrived. Uh, we still got a we still got a lot of work and a long ways to go. That doesn't necessarily equate to more butts in the seats either. I mean, you, would, you know, obviously you want to be playing in front of a full house. Do you think the city's going to come around at some point? Oh, it oh absolutely. I I think every most cities most cities go through you know the football phase. You know, football season's still going, and and you know you compete against that. You know the, the the fans that that are genuine football fans, and might be hockey second. So you do compete against that. But we got a great fan base here. We got great fans here, and we keep winning, and that's what you have to do. You know, we saw results last summer when we won. Season tickets went up. Uh, it was one of the best summers that they've had as far as getting new season ticket holders. And that's what you have to do for you know, your fan base. You've got to get them excited about the product and, and the entertainment value. And winning is first and foremost, and it's also how you play the game. 
And I think our guys have been doing both. They've been coming out and putting forth an honest effort, playing hard, and that's what the fans want to see, and we're getting the results. Todd Blake Como skated. Um, how's he been coming along recently? Uh, well, it's a process just like anybody through an injury. Mm -hmm. And he's taking the steps, uh, and now he'll start practicing with us. So that's the next, next big step. Because once he gets out and, and, and practices, then he's getting close to returning. Will that be the, later this week or while well, uh, you play? Yeah, it's probably more next week is what we're looking at. What's on? What about Jack Skilly? He, he didn't skate today. Uh, he got reassigned today. Okay. So, you know, he got cleared by the doctors. And what he needs to do is play. And based on how the team's playing right now, uh, we don't want him just sitting hanging around. So uh, we made the decision to reassign him. So he'll go down to Springfield and, and again, get involved with that team and practice and and then get back to playing games. Is that a conditioning assignment? He would have to clear No, waivers. no, no. It wasn't a conditioning assignment. No. Just reassigned. So he cleared waivers? Uh, he does not have to clear does waivers. No. So what are some of the advantages that you have playing on home ice that have led to these wins at home? The advantages of home ice? Mm -hmm. Well, I, you know, the crowd and the energy. You know, the, I know the Tampa game going back, that one sticks out. The Philly game sticks out. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's, pro that's probably the biggest thing, is, is a comfort level playing here, a confident level, and the support we get from our fans. So how much of a difference is being able to submit the lineup second after the other team well, it, factor in? It, it, it's big, not necessarily submitting the, or the roster, but the line changes are, are the important thing. But having said that, too, I'm not as concerned about matchups just because I, all the lines are going. So for me, it's really, for the most part, rolling four lines and, and just playing and giving guys ice time and being able to spread it around. So we're getting four lines going, and all six defensemen are going, and you know when you have that, that, that depth going, it's, it's, it's a very simple game to coach.